So let's see what happens. Serious war is a mess. In this day and age, there is a whole lot of noise. News media. Which can be good if listened to, but oftentimes noise drowns out the most vital catalyst of communication. The individual. We focus too much on the story and headline rather than those who are encompassed within it. We label the poor, the disabled, the sick, the refugees, as if all individuals could be generalized to the point where they are dignified by their misfortune. We dehumanize and we don't even realize it. I don't think that the issue is apathy. People do care, but a lot of times this noisy climate overwhelms us to the point where we begin to ask, why should we? Especially if we aren't directly affected. Let me tell you a little story someone long ago shared with me. An old man was walking on the beach one morning after a storm. In the distance, he could see someone moving like a dancer. He came closer, saw that it was a young woman picking up starfish and gently throwing them into the ocean. Young lady, why are you throwing starfish into the ocean? The sun is up and the tide is going out and if I do not throw them in, they will die, she said. But, young lady, do you not realize that there are miles of beach and thousands of starfish? You cannot possibly make a difference. The young woman listened politely and then bent down, picked up another starfish, and threw it into the sea. Well, I sure made a difference for that one. You move. You are not stagnant. You breathe. Your lungs expand. You, by the very act of being, make an impact. A cause near and dear to my heart is the Syrian refugee crisis. War brings out the ugliest of humanity, and it's an absolute shame that innocents must suffer to the point where families don't know when their next meal will come. But we have the chance to move, to breathe, and act a little more than usual. This year, please join me in raising a thousand dollars to create a kitchen providing hot meals and supplies to innocent civilians scrambling to survive. The link is in the description. <clears throat> Just think, the cost of your regular Chipotle burrito could bring enough food for an individual suffering for an entire month. We are so lucky to have this opportunity and I hope that you'll take it with me. In addition, not that you need incentive anyway, um, any donation of $20 or more, I will personally send you a care package filled with homemade cookies. Also, the subscriber who donates the most, which was last time my pal Axel, who is super awesome, will get a song written about them. Lastly, supporting the channel in general is wonderful, as all revenue goes directly to charity. It is seldom that we are so explicitly given the chance to reach out and love blindly. Let us put all political tensions aside and give the individuals a hot meal and empathy they so rightfully deserve. Thank you. I look forward to throwing starfish amongst you all. I love you, face. Have a wonderful day. If you have any questions or you want to get more involved or you want to donate, everything's in the description. You can always comment to me. And thank you for being a part of this. I am really excited. Let's see what we can do with just a couple of bucks. <laughs> Bye. Have a great rest of your day.